England's new manager might be the cheap option. He might even be a bit dull. But one thing is certain about Roy Hodgson, he's been around. This chap has coached football clubs all around the world. His unbelievably ordinary playing career ended when he was 28 and he became manager of Swedish club Halmstad. He still considers their league title in 1976 as one of his biggest achievements. From there, he had a short and pretty disastrous spell at Bristol City before heading back to Sweden, ending up at Malmo, who finished top of the league five seasons running. From Sweden to Switzerland, and eventually the job of national coach. He led the Swiss to the last 16 at the 1994 World Cup and to number three in the FIFA World Rankings. After steering them through qualifying for Euro 96, he was off again to Inter Milan. Two years with the Nerazzurri included a UEFA Cup final, which they lost on penalties. Then back to Blighty, Blackburn in fact. His first season as a Wover was okay, but he was sacked 14 games into the next one when Blackburn were bottom. The year after that, he nearly became Austria's manager, but instead went back to Inter, but only for a month. The year after that, he almost got the England job when Kevin Keegan quit, but ended up at Copenhagen and won the Danish title. That led to more international management and a spell with the United Arab Emirates that even he admits was a mistake. And then two years with Finland, who just missed out on the Euro 2008 finals. That led to his only successful spell with an English club. His Fulham side won four of their last five games to beat the drop in 2008, finished seventh in 2009 and reached the Europa League final in 2010. That led to Liverpool and Hodgson's chance with a really big club. It didn't work out. He lasted 31 games. West Brom seemed to be rather more his style. Mid-table, nothing too fancy. But clearly he'd done enough to catch the FA's eye. Across the globe, for 18 different employers over 36 years, this very English football man has been putting out fires. Now he's got the biggest job of all. YouTube.com forward slash goal is full of stuff like this and proper football too. To make sure you don't miss out, just hit the subscribe button. It really is that simple.